Hi, welcome to 7 Facts. This weekend's video is all about Indiana. We're gonna mention 7 little known facts that I find interesting about this US state. If you wish to check out the rest of the series, click on the icon appearing now. Or you can visit my channel where you'll find hundreds of other videos. So, let's see how many of these facts do you know about Indiana. Indiana has been named as such due to the presence of indigenous American Indian tribes who have been living here for thousands of years. After its founding as a frontier territory, the region was rapidly settled by migrants who came primarily from New York, New England, Ohio, Kentucky and Tennessee. After many conflicts, treaties and land purchases, the local Indian population gradually shrunk until they became a small minority. Today, despite its name, Indiana has a remaining American Indian population of just 0.4%. The world's first electrically lighted city was Wabash in Indiana. Charles Brush from Cleveland, Ohio had been experimenting with a new electric arc light known as the Brush Light with the hope of a public test in some city in order to prove it worked to light a city at night. The Wabash City Council agreed with Mr. Brush to make a test of his light. Four brush lights were placed on top of the Wabash County Courthouse and turned on. From the towering dome of the courthouse at 8 pm on March 31, 1880, burst a flood of light that made world history. Wabash had a population of 320, but over 10,000 people witnessed the event. For a mile around, houses and yards were distinctly visible, while far away the Wabash River glowed like a band of molten silver. The capital city of Indiana is Indianapolis. It was founded in 1821 as a planned city for the new seat of the state's government. Today the city is perhaps best known for annually hosting the world's largest single-day sporting event, the Indianapolis 500. This is a racing event held annually at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and it's considered to be part of the Triple Crown of Motorsports, which comprises three of the most prestigious motorsports events in the world, along with the Monaco Grand Prix and the 24 Hours of Le Mans. The attendance to the single-day event varies between 250,000 and 300,000 people. The very first peacetime train robbery in documented history happened just outside of Seymour, Indiana. The Reno Gang, otherwise known as the Jackson Thieves, pioneered the gambit on October 6, 1866, swiping over $13,000 from passengers headed east. On that fateful day, the Reno brothers thought it might be a good idea to rob the Ohio and Mississippi train, and they did it right in Jackson County in Indiana. They broke into one safe and tipped the other off the train before jumping off, thus completing the world's first train robbery. In 1950, Joseph and Catherine Jackson moved into their two-bedroom house at 2300 Jackson Street in the city of Gary, Indiana, after they were married on November 5, 1949. Five of their children, Jackie, Tito, Jermaine, Marlon and Michael would go on to form the Jackson 5 music group in 1968. In case you haven't figured out what I'm talking about, the Jackson 5 is the group which launched the career of the King of Pop, Michael Jackson. In 1971 he started his solo career and would go on to become one of history's greatest and most known entertainers. And it all started in the small town of Gary in Indiana. Indiana is home to the town of Santa Claus. No, really, the town's name is Santa Claus. Initially, when established in 1854, the town was to be named Santa Fe, but their application was refused due to the fact that there already was a Santa Fe in Indiana. Several town meetings were held and Santa Claus was selected as the new name. The town is the only one in the world to have a Santa Claus post office and thus it receives thousands of children's letters from all over the world each year. Amazingly, a group of volunteers known as Santa's Elves ensures each child receives a reply from Santa, a tradition that has been in existence since at least 1914. The farming community of Newport, Indiana, now Fountain City, 
became known as the Grand Central Station of the Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad was the name given to a group of people who helped and facilitated the escape of runaway slaves from the southern United States. As many as several thousand slaves escaped through Indiana with the help of Quakers, Baptists and other religious groups who operated safe houses, sheltered, fed and transported the slaves. Newport alone was responsible for helping more than 2,000 slaves make their way north to freedom. Many families in the state sheltered these people before and during the Civil War. And there you have it. These were the 7 facts that I've gathered about Indiana. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It'll be worth it since I upload 2 videos every week on Wednesday and Saturday. Also, don't forget to leave a comment downstairs, let me know your thoughts. Additionally, you can support this channel by becoming a patron, by clicking on the icon now or finding the link in the description. I hope to see you next time. Bye.